Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are looking at this grimy teapot that we use all the time. And when you cook and you have gas and you have other things like pans and stuff like that, it splashes onto your teapot if you leave your teapot out, which we do. Um, and we use a lot for uh, pressed coffee and other things like that. So we're gonna show you how we're gonna clean this today. And we're gonna use basically rubber gloves for safety. We're gonna use our original Scrub Daddy, which is about five bucks online. Um, you can buy them in different packs and, and different scrub daddies as well, but this is the original. And uh, we're going to use the pink stuff, which is about $6 online. So um, basically, the, the claim for this is that we pretty much need to get all of this kind of grime off of it. And all we're going to do is a little goes a long ways with the pink stuff, and we're going to use that as our cleaner. So I'm just going to take a, a little bit of that, put it on the scrubbier side. And I basically put the, the scrub daddy in, in some warm water, and I'm just going to basically Rub it in all over the pot to start with. All over this nasty pot. You can hear how nasty it is actually, which is kind of kind of gross. And I'm just gonna set it down so I can get a little bit better grip while I'm scrubbing. And you don't have to leave this on. So a lot of this stuff that we were showing you were, you were doing for cleaning, when we were showing all the cleaning stuff and you're using baking soda, people are like, oh my God, it gets in everything. You can't get it out. I have to use toothpicks and, and different things like that just to get it all out of there. Well. This is a paste, so it, it'll stick to the walls of something, so you see it's not falling down. You don't have to mix your own. It's really quick, you don't have to wait it out, so it actually, you know, a lot of things you have to wait, you know, with the baking soda we say to wait a little bit, or with vinegar and baking soda you say to wait a little bit. And the scrub daddy will get into a lot of crevices and cracks. And then you really just gotta give it some good scrubbing. And if it's not, right now I did it with, with warm water, and if you don't feel like it's getting clean enough, if you rinse this with cold water, which I'll do right now, it actually gets firmer. So it actually becomes a little bit more coarse. And as you can see, it's getting clean. And it's, um, a lot of it is, I'm using the more coarse side of Scrub Daddy, which is basically not a side, it's just water. So the cold, cold water gets it nice and coarse. Let me just show you as I go along here. So again, this is going to take a little scrubbing. Like this thing has not been cleaned in probably, I don't know, six, seven years? <laughs> Something like that? So, because it's just a teapot, right? But we got kind of sick of looking at the nastiness of the teapot. So we're giving it a shot here with the pink stuff and with Scrub Daddy. And we're going to see how clean we can get it on our kind of first round here. And the nice thing about the Scrub Daddy is it's got a lot of little kind of nooks and crevices that you can kind of use to kind of clean with. So it does take a little bit to work it around some of the angles and things like that. Like obviously with the teapot, you know, it's, the handle's really close to this, so we're going to have to kind of work our way in there. But all right, let's see where we're at. So I'm going to get a, just a clean cloth. So first thing you're going to notice is there's a lot of dirt. So this came off on the counter and things like that, but like let's just give it a wipe quick. I really feel like this is like an infomercial for me. Like wow, there we go. But you can see, I mean it was nasty, right? So you could go over it again, like for sure I could go over it again and get some of these little spots and stuff off of it. There's a few little spots and things like that, but I mean you could see the before and after of just doing it once. And then of course. I'll clean it really good before I actually use it again, make sure everything's kind of rinsed out of it. But you can see how good it looks just from one kind of rinsing of it, right? There's spots here, right? So I'll go back over those spots again with the Scrub Daddy and get a little bit more pink. So let me do that. Rinse it out really good. And so you'll see just a couple spots here, like at the bottom, where I just didn't put enough into it to get it clean. And again, this is not something that, you know, like you're going to have to scrub a little, right? If it's super dirty like this thing and it hasn't been cleaned and we haven't really touched it or done anything with it, we just let it kind of get grimy and dirty and greasy. Um, and that's kind of the benefit of um, the pink stuff will cut through a lot of grease. And so that's one of the things that they actually say they cut through. It also does stuff with picking markers off things, you know, crayons, markers. If you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. Um, or had kids. Um, and then you just gotta really kind of work it in there. And that's really it. So you're gonna have to scrub a little bit to get it nice and clean. But you'll see that once you do any of the spots that are around here, 
really do come off. It's just a matter of making sure you scrub and wipe everything down. So you can see the difference, right? This is still a few spots I could probably do a little bit better, but let's be honest, it's gonna get bad again. Um, but you can see all that grease, the grime is gone. It didn't scratch the surface of it or anything like that, so there's no massive scratches to it, things like that. And all we used, we didn't wait any time, we used the pink stuff and I didn't rinse it super well, but the Scrub Daddy. So this is the original Scrub Daddy for it. We used it this time with cold water, making it much more firm. These two things together are about 10 to $12. I'll put a link in the description below. You can get them off of Amazon. And again, this is the, one of the big things that you guys mentioned to me as users of it. You were like, oh, the baking soda gets everywhere. The pink stuff doesn't get everywhere. You, so once you actually rub it all on, you scrub everything down with it, you just use a cloth and uh, wipe everything down, rinse it, wipe it down again. And something that you're obviously consuming food to, you know, I'll probably put this through, you know, either a dishwasher or something like that just to make sure I get all any of the residue off it, make sure you scrub it clean with some Dawn soap or some dish soap and things like that. But that's it. Just using the pink stuff, scrub daddy, and uh, you can see our teapot's like new. <laughs>